Hey there, it's Kristen for Pagan Pages Org, and I'll be bringing you tips and ideas for turning your planner into an oracle, an interactive grimoire, and a spell book. So we'll be using your planner, your planner supplies, and accessories for lots of magical fun. And this month, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a gratitude jar right in your planner. So this is actually a a vellum overlay gratitude jar. I'm just going to show you what mine looks like. And so when you lift up this top page, you can see the stickers uh, underneath. When you close it back, it looks like everything is inside of the jar. And so um, I just think this is a really cute way to keep kind of like a gratitude list. A lot of times you'll see that this is more fun, it's more visual, and it's something that I actually remember to do each month. Um, the top part is vellum, and it's just an overlay. Um, I personally use the Happy Planner system that has these discs, um, but you could also do this, for example, as a tip-in in a bullet journal. So the, um, and I do wanna say also, take this out really quickly. So this is, this is really what you're making for the, for the overlay. I've laminated this one as well, uh, basically because I'm gonna be taking it in and out with the Happy Planner. I'm taking it uh, off of these discs and moving it to a new page each month. This is my moon journal, and so, um, every month or every moon phase, I do one of these gratitude jar spreads. And so it's just a reminder for me of what I've been manifesting for that moon phase and just what I'm really, really grateful for. Um, so it's a very, very easy thing to do. I think it's very versatile. And again, depending on how often you want to use it, um, you can just do a drawn jar if you want to do that every single time. I personally like to use stickers because I don't draw very well. So however you want to uh, fill your jar is completely up to you. You could use stickers, you can use drawings, you can use words or any combination of all three. And I'm just gonna give you a really quick tutorial on how to put together your gratitude jar. For this project, you're going to need the gratitude jar image. I've provided you with a JPEG image that you can use, and you can resize it to whatever size your planner or journal requires. You can also find an image of a jar if you'd like, or draw one. You'll also need some vellum paper, and you'll need stickers and art supplies. The first step is to print the image onto the vellum paper. I use a desk jet and just as a little tip, you may want to wait for the ink to dry after you've printed it on the vellum paper. I also add another step which is laminating the vellum overlay, but this is because I take it in and out of my planner frequently. Next you want to create a gratitude list if you haven't already been keeping one. I make a full moon manifestation list towards the end of each month after the full moon. It reflects what I've been manifesting and special things that I'm really grateful for. Then you want to find stickers that reflect the things on your list and make sure you place them inside the area of the overlay. So when you apply the overlay, it will look something like this. When I can't find the stickers that I want, I will often use brush pens or highlighters and then write over top of them. And you can also just fill up your gratitude jar with your favorite things. I love just putting a bunch of my favorite stickers in there. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this project.